Dimension 9, World of Fights. Final number five, the category is 90 kilograms by the rules of KWU Senshi, your referee, Sensei Peter Martino. And now, let's welcome Yeah, let's see, I hope we see some knockouts. <laughs> from France, Amirosh Filali. <laughs> Amirush Filali, who reached the final Amirush with one win with decision, one with KO. Algeria. He's number one in the Arab Championship, champion of France Open Tournament in 2018, and bronze medalist from France All Group Tournament in 2018. One more time, make some noise for the red corner and Amirush Filali from France. <laughs> Opponent Vladislav Postenko already has one win in the ring of Senshi at Senshi. His opponent in the blue corner, a guy you know very bigger. well from Senshi. What I saw. From Ukraine. What is yes, right? yes, yes. Postenko! It's a little bit way different, I think. Well, the thing with the Europeans is that you have to weigh in every day. Not only the first day, the second day, but the third day you also have to weigh in. So they should be around the same way. <laughs> has a pretty funky style. 2020 champion in pitbull fight in 2019 silver medalist from the world cup k1 2019 yeah, and the k1 too. championship yes yes Ukraine same shape yeah, has one win in the ring of Bronze medalist from the european k1 championship in 2018 and winner of the championship of ukraine ifma in 2018 one more time in the blue corner vladislav postenko from ukraine Yeah, a bit taller is Valisa Postenko, one year older. But Tamirush Filari showed some pretty good kickboxing in the first two days. So let's see how hard it is to fight uh, three days in a row. Tell me. Yeah, yeah. But the good thing is you have shin protection. Yes. Because when your first day the shin is broken or hurting, it really hurts. Yes, yes. So, but. You always have to concentrate, load up again, you know, so it's heavy. It's heavy, yeah. And you have well, to weigh in every day, that's yeah, also. Yeah, mentally also, you know. You have to prepare every night time for a new fight. Yes, you cannot relax and enjoy beautiful camp <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Tell us, what is your impression of the camp and the uh, camp so far yeah, yeah, yeah. this year? I see the level go up and I see many Russian good guys coming. Mm -hmm. And yes. some Serbian guys as well. Yes. So really good. Now we see both fighters in orthodox stance. Some good combination of punches and elbows by Fostenko. We hear also the chant supporting Ukraine from all the Ukrainian participants in the camp here that are at the amphitheater. Yeah, the blue corner is working a little bit more. Make this pause. What do you think about the KW Senshi rules when they allow Elbow. uh, elbows, knees, That's a even? Thing. With the, with the, with the, before, the before fights, there's no problem because there are many, many protections. Mm -hmm. And now in the final. Yes. We already see, we already saw uh, two cuts open above the eyes yeah, of the yeah. competitors. One time I tried to fight three or four times with elbows. It really can give, give you a cut in the face, you know? Yes, yes. And it hurts like a stick. And they hit your head. <laughs> nice leading elbow. I see that uh, a lot of competitors like to start their attack with a leading elbow with yeah, yeah. stepping, step stepping in. front, yeah. yeah. People tend to really like this attack. Yeah, you come through the, through, through the gloves, you know, you stack mm -hmm. the mm -hmm. We see that Fostenko is a bit more mobile on his feet. Now a knee to the head, now, now and an elbow. You can stay in the clinch as long as you're active. That's what yeah. the rules of KW Senshi say. Yeah, but you when there's actually, you know, because many people take rest in the clinch, it's not good. Yes, yes. But it's dangerous. The elbow when you clinch is also dangerous. You, know? you have to work in the clinch. So far, Fostenko really taking the lead in this round one. 
Yeah, blue gonna make more points. Less than 40 seconds of run. Oh, now a nice separate to the head. Make a little bit more combination. Head gonna make one kicking or punching. Not the combination yet. Mm -hmm. It seems like Filali. Only one thing, you know, from the karate, you know, the, the, from the karate way. Not the kickboxing, like two, three punches you kick. But they're changing, I see in the camp they're changing a lot now. Yes. And uh, it seems like uh, for Stenko in the blue corner, it seems really confident, really calm and collected. And Filali looks a bit tense, a bit... Uh, yeah, but I think you have much more experience. That's what my impression is. You know? It works more easily. And the guy do more one thing, one kick, one punch. It's not... Uh, in more combinations to blue corner. The head gonna do everything in one thing, in one kick and one push. Now the blue gonna make combinations, two, three points, kick. Uh, a little more. Uh, and you see that the, the defense of Ilale in the clinch is pretty good. Even though he's receiving some elbows, he's, he's uh, not receiving too much damage. But we have an uh, advantage because he's big. When in the clinch, when you're bigger, you have a big advantage. Yes. You put your weight on the other guy and yeah, make him yeah. tired also. Oh, it's yeah. a lot of power. Yes. It's important to clean good, you know. It was a lot of power. When you have a good cleanser and you can't continue, people will break down on condition. Both fighters had one minute to recover between the rounds. Let's see if in round two, Filale will open up a little bit more. So far, Vladislav Fostenko taking the lead, taking the initiative. You have to make the combination, you only make kick or punch, you know? Mm -hmm. They say styles make matches, yeah, maybe the style of Fostenko is not really good for uh, Filali. And he's big, anyway. He is. One. He's big. To, before he punch, before he get make some punches. See, otherwise he step away all the time. And we see that Fostenko is staying really light on his toes and he's jumping around. He's not staying in one place. Yeah, but he have to go away because he's bigger. When he keeps standing, they touch him. Mm -hmm. to go in and out. That's the way. You keep distance or you keep close when you're bigger. Halfway, you're on disadvantage. We see that uh, both fighters receive a warning, probably because of the clinch. I don't even see why, but I think because they're making too much clinch and not enough work. Oh, now a nice combo, a hook and a straight punch. Now in a low kick with it. The basics, huh? The fundamentals, they yeah, work the you best. You kill the legs, but you work with the hands, you kill the legs, that's the way. But they do take a good uh, guy, he's bigger. So far away or close. When he comes close, you grab him in the clinch. And then take him in the clinch. Smart. Oh, now a nice close. elbow. Halfway, it's disadvantage. Oh, and good. again another elbow. We see that Filale tries that low calf kick. Now he tries a high kick. And again with a high kick. Forty seconds left of round two. Now again a nice elbow. Really good elbow work by Fostenko. I really like the, his, el his elbows attack. Yeah, but uh, the East of Europe, you follow Russian Green, they train a lot in Thailand, these guys. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And he seems really fresh, he doesn't seem tired at all. No, no, he's moving all the time. He's perfect. Good boxing, good play boxing. Now, play now, play now. But Phil Ali shows the heart of a warrior. He came all the way to the final. He will not give himself easily, right? Uh, but the thing is, they can the people. 
Grab the people don't give them two stairs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. That was a great boxing combination. Follow the legs. Yes. yes. We, we just uh, discussed that with Ernesto that some fighters prefer the low kicks right above the knee and some people prefer to kick I just right on here the, on the hip. hip. Which, one, which one do you prefer? Uh, for me, I don't mind when I kick the leg and I get touches, it's good. Uh, before, <laughs> before our teacher, my teacher too, also Ernesto was Jean Plus from the Giri himself. He learned us to kick just on the hip. Okay, okay. That's why I'm so at this too. <laughs> the applause will be too, but, but the ball did you touch the leg? Because yes. it hurts, believe me. Yes, yes. And I see they receive knees to the body, kicks to the body, kicks to the legs, but they don't show any emotion, they don't show That's any the pain. Thing. When you show pain, then they run over you. Yes. When you show you have a problem with your leg, mm -hmm. they kick your leg 20 times. That's the thing, it's mental, mentality. Oh, now a nice elbow to the head. This might have rocked Filare. Oh, and again a nice elbow. Another clinch. Will they be worn again for clinching? There's uh, blood coming out of the nose of Filali. Everything is set now for the match to continue. Oh, again, a high kick attempt by Filali. But the thing is, he doesn't set up those high kicks. He just throws yeah, them without yeah. any setup. You have to make uh, first hands and make place for the legs. It's the one thing of the back. It's a shame, but it's experience. And you make more experience and it will come. Make combination for the legs. You prepare the leg kicks. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, how many elbows can Filali take to the head? So many elbows. That was close. The clinch is important to learn, for, for especially with this. A lot of clinch elbows, you know, it's good to learn. See again blood coming out of the nose of Filali. Yeah, it's a problem elbows, really hard. Yes. Like a small stick with it when you have. <laughs> So what are, what are the things that you focused on uh, teaching the guys in this camp? I do a lot of things, uh, move out of the way, step to the side, mm -hmm. and the clinching is important, you know? Mm -hmm. You I get the middle of the clinch, you're the strongest. The more, for, the first thing is get the good position, and then you start the clinch. Yes, uh, I saw that you also did a lot of high intensity drills in like interval trainings yeah, yeah. with the timer, yeah? True. Yeah, but the thing is fighting, it's explosion, it's not the uh, relax uh, with your hands. Yes. You have to explode three, four points, you must be knocked out. So with that I do a lot with the guys. Explosion is most important. When you train explosion, you get explosion. And they land to the ground now. It seems like the tired stomach is getting the best of them. Amir Filari, he knows that he has nothing to lose, so he has to give it all here the last 20 seconds. But Vladislav Ostenko will not yeah. give him... He takes his time in the clinch, you know? Yeah, will not give him a chance. Well, yeah, when he's close, you hold him and he take the, take the clinch. You know, he takes his time now. A nice toe kick by Ostenko. And this is the end of the third and final round. We're gonna go to the judges' decision yeah. and see who will be the European champion of KW Senshi. Yeah. 
uh, under think, 90 kilograms. I think the blue corner because he's much more experienced. You can see in his head. But yes. uh, but he had to make more fights ahead from the French guy, you know. And he mm -hmm. make get more experience to this game. It's totally different than than karate. Yes, yes. Because karate have a different distance, you know. Yes, and I think. Uh, he will be even better if he goes uh, to 85 kilograms division, maybe, not under 90, if he can make it. Yeah, yeah but he's not too fat, so. Yeah. Let's see what the, the judge's decision will be. Ladies and gentlemen, you are watching the finals of the first edition of the KWU European Championship. And now, the winner from the final number five, the category 90 kilograms. And your winner, by unanimous decision, in the blue corner, from Ukraine, Vladislav Postenko. We see that the corner man of uh, Vladislav is thankful, so really happy for him and the Ukraine supporters. Thanks so much for his great opponent from France, Arumis Vilali, who gave him a great fight tonight. One of the most interesting and tense finals in the European Championship. The prize will be awarded by Shikana Sena, seventh member of the management board of the Bulgarian Karate Kyokushin Federation. Every winner gets a belt. Every European champion gets a belt tonight and a cup, of course, for this one. One more time, your winner and new European championship, first European champion in category 90 kilograms, Vladislav Postenko from Ukraine. Ladies and gentlemen, fighters from 17 countries came all over Europe to fight here in Varna. Yes, yes. In this tournament, the first edition of the European Championship. But you see the, the difference between the experience. Blue guys much more experienced. Okay, Peter, thank you so much for okay, commentating like this it. fight with me. I'll Super. see you see for you the see. later fight. Yeah. 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 Okay, so we made a mistake. You're gonna commentate the other one with me also. <laughs> the heavyweight, the heavyweight division final. Show your appreciation for the second place tonight. Amirush Filali from France, the second place. Guys, let's make picture all together with Shihan Asenov and the trainers, the coaches. Come on. And now, 